Hey everybody, my name is RC Concepcion. I'm a photographer, educator, and the author of The Enthusiast Guide to Lightroom, 55 Photographic Principles You Need to Know. This series is designed to give you tips and techniques that are gonna make your work better and make you work faster inside of Lightroom. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about the dreaded file is missing warning. If you've seen it, you totally know that this is the freak out moment that everybody has. Let's go ahead and just explore it and talk about how to be able to fix this. Now, here we are back in this sample portrait shoot that we did of my friend Mia. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna single click on one file and you'll notice that if I can click on this and I can go to the develop module, all of this stuff is available to me here that I can adjust and move things around. However, this is all predicated on the fact that Lightroom knows where all of your information is. A lot of the times I tell people Lightroom is almost kind of like a notebook that you keep in your house. And every time somebody comes in through the front door and they hand you a box of pictures, you go, okay, uh, I'm gonna put these in the kitchen and you write it down on the notebook. Somebody grabs and brings you in something else and you go, all right, I'm gonna put this in the living room and you write it down in the notebook. So the catalog is the notebook. If somebody were to come into your house and take the pictures that you put in the kitchen and move them somewhere else, but didn't write it on your notebook, you'd come home and be like, this was supposed to be here, but it's not here. And you'd start the freak out. So that's what's happening here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go outside of Lightroom and outside of Lightroom, I'm gonna take this folder, right? If you look, I'm gonna go back to this here and I'm just gonna to go to show in Finder and it's gonna show me, I'm gonna do Finder or Windows Explorer, but it's gonna show me that those pictures are right here on the desktop, McCormick Portrait. That's part of a workflow that I do. I talk about this in First Shot School, but it's one of those things that I do a hot, medium, cold where I use this and then I go to a removable drive, then I go to a network storage. If you wanna see more about it, just go to the site and take a look. But they're on the desktop. What I wanna do from here is I'm gonna grab these files and I'm gonna move these files into a new location, into this images folder. Now, I did this outside of Lightroom, which basically means that Lightroom's gonna freak out. If I go back inside of here, right, the file could not be found. How many times have you seen that message, right? And you're like, I don't know, I don't know what happened. Where is it? But even more important, you can't do any changes to anything that you have here. So you'll see the file, but there's nothing that you can do here. Like, what do you do? Well, there's two different ways to be able to go about this. The first thing that I usually like to do is, I like to right click on here and I'll go to show and finder. It's gonna tell me, look, I have no idea where these pictures are, but it's gonna point to the last location that you had there. I like this because it can kind of give you a reminder about where they were, but more importantly, I can just copy this name right here, right? Select all, copy that, and once I have that selected, I can just cancel this. Now, if you don't know where they are, Right? Chances are you're gonna have to go find them somewhere. I would use either Windows Explorer or I go to the Finder window, and do a paste on that and have it find where it is. Right? So now it knows where that raw file is and then I can go, oh, it's in this one section right here in these images. So that's one way about it. Once you know where it is, you can obviously go into Show and Finder and then from there, locate. You know, you're looking for 192, right? You can go down to this one and you can find it from here and click on it. Don't do this, right? I don't like this option, let me tell you why. If you do this, it's great because it's gonna find all of the individual pictures that are inside of the series and you're good to go. The problem that you're gonna run into here though is, imagine if you did this and your folder was in a subfolder, right? And you had, let's say 100 pictures, 200 pictures. You took a hard drive and moved it to a bigger hard drive. How do you solve for that? So that's the problem that we wanna solve here and we're not gonna solve it by just doing one picture in one folder. So get used to the concept of just updating folder locations rather than the files. It's one extra step, but it's not too bad. Cancel out of that, just do this instead. Right click, go to folder and library. It's gonna bring you to where the folder is and you're gonna notice that the folder has a question mark, right? All we have to do here is just right click and find missing folder. Inside of there, we'll go ahead and we'll go to the images folder. We know that the folder is right here. Once we click on choose, now the folder's back. All of the develop stuff that we wanna do is back and we don't have to worry about that. So it's a cornerstone of the strategy of what I do when I wanna move from one drive to another to a network attached storage. But just doing that one small tip will help you find all those missing pictures finally. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, make sure that you take a look at my brand new book, The Enthusiast Guide to Lightroom. I guarantee that you're going to learn a lot 
My name is RC. Thanks for watching.